life, death and time are abstraction of divine origin and ecclesiastical meaningless vanity. Life only exists by characteristics, attributes or processes while death is only permanent, physical, cessation or termination of life attributes. Time, therefore, is a space and endless continuum inhabiting or containing life and death. Chief Barrister Lazarus Abo was born into the humble home of Le Chief Abo Umoki of Ndiarene Urarene Amechi Ija or Haoku local government area of Oboni State. As the only male of his mother through his father, with four sisters, eight stepbrothers, and one sister from his stepmom, rough and tough as his early childhood days were, losing his mom the cold hands of death very early in his life. He triumphed as a cowboy who looked after his father's cattle at the admiration of his siblings, friends, associates, and colleagues. In the early 50s, he enrolled as one of the pioneer infants in Infant 1 of then St. Philomena RCM Primary School, Amechi Ezambo, which today is the Amechi Community Primary School, Amechi Ezambo, in Ohauku local government area of the present day Ebony State. This journey of educational pursuit later took him to St. Nathis Isheke, where he obtained his Standard 6 certificate in the year. 1958. As a man with burning desire to acquire knowledge, he proceeded to St. Thomas Teachers Training College, Ogoja, from 1961 to 1962, where he got the Educational Training Certificate, ETC. Then, from 1970 to 1971, he got his Teachers Grade 11 Certificate at St. Joseph college Ibago. Barrister Abu wrote the London GCEO level in 1971 and GCEA level in 1973. In same 1973, he obtained a licensure certificate in theoretical thesis at Institute of Management and Technology, IMT Enugu. Yet not done, he proceeded to University of Loring in 1976 as one of the pioneer students of the university where he studied and banked B.E.D. Horns in planning and administration in 1979 and was amongst the first badge of NYSE scheme in same 1979 where he served in the old Bender state. Worthy of note is that his leadership qualities manifested very early in life as he was the president of Ngbo students in University of Illori in his final year. In 1990, he enrolled into the University of Onsoka Enugu campus where he studied law and proceeded to Nigerian Law School, Victory Island, Lagos in 1994 and was enrolled to the Nigerian Bar in 1995. Barrister Abu possessed one of the richest and highest volume of library in all discipline within the vicinity and authored five unpublished masterpiece books. Barrister Lars Abu, having been fully prepared for life of service to fatherland, was from emphasis killed as a native cow rearer, cowboy, where he was stunned by harsh climatic hazard and marathon race in the rough and rugged terrain in the village topography. Barrister Abu served his fatherland meritoriously as a core member in the old Bendel State. He worked as a teacher in various primary schools in old eastern and midwestern region as a corps member. He tutored in secondary schools in old Anambra Enugu Station, worked as a teacher's trainer in River State, Nature Study and Rural Science, and as well a military instructor in war logistics and strategy, weaponry classification and identification, physical trainings and drills in the then Biafra Army. He joined the Red Cross Society in 1967 to serve, treat, and attend to wounded Biafran soldiers. He was a gallant Biafran soldier from 1967 to 1970 during the Civil War. Barrister Abu was a career civil servant and a refined politician. He worked as a supervisory councillor 
of works in old Ishiel local government area in 1980 and later pioneered local government chairman of a defunct Ezangbo local government area in 1982. He contested and lost the election to represent his people in 1983 general election in Anambra State House of Assembly. By 1984, Barista Abu was appointed assistant editor in the Daily Star newspaper in Nugu. In 1985, he worked as a senior registrar, Exam Development Center, EDC. In Enugu under Anambra State Ministry of Education. By 1988, Chief Barrister Abo was transferred to the then Anambra State Local Government Service Commission, where he worked as the Administrative Secretary. Barrister Abo no yet done with service to fatherland and humanity was appointed the Controller National Population Commission NPC for Ohauku Local Government Area in 1991. He organized and saw the resources of the 1991 population census in Mbo Etiti local government area in the old Enugu state. In 1996, late General Sani Abaja created a Boni state from Enugu and Abia state. The first civilian governor of a Boni state, His Excellency Dr. Sam Ominyego, found Barista Abu fully qualified and worthy, and hence in 1999. He appointed him to be one of the pioneer permanent secretaries in the Ebony State Public Service. Barrister Abu worked diligently and went through the Cabinet Office, Political and Security Service Department, PSD. From here, he was redeployed to the office of the Deputy Governor, Lit Okoisu, whom he worked very well with. From here, he was again redeployed to the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. In this ministry, he signed for the government of a Boeing state and contractors to build the five-star hotel as it was then. From this ministry, Barrister Abu was posted to the Local Government Service Commission as the permanent secretary. He discharged his duties meritoriously well as a standing administrator and was later posted to the Ministry of Land and Town Planning. In 2003, he retired from the Boeing State Public Service. Retired but not tired, Barrister Abu dusted his wig and gown and continued his legal practice in the Boeing State Chambers in Abakliki and Abu Chambers in Ezangbo till 2005 when duty once again came calling. The government of Dr. Sam Ego appointed him Director of Administration and Board Secretary. A Boeing State University Teaching Hospital Abakliki. He discharged his duties excellently and, in 2010, the board was dissolved and Barrister Agbo went back to legal practice. What of note is that between his retirement in 2003 and reappointment in 2005, Barrister Agbo served as the president of Mbo and Asia Consultative Assembly, NICA, as a director of administration and secretary of Ebony State University Teaching Hospital Board Abakliki. He became member and the legal advisor of Institute of Health Service Administration of Nigeria, IHSAN. By May 2nd, 2012, Barrister Abu was made the Chairman FM Customary Court. His tenure finished in 2005 and was appointed again. Now, he served in Mbu Customary Court. As a Chairman, he piloted the affair meritoriously and was found worthy to be appointed for the third time. Chief Barrister Abu Laz Abu has immeasurable exposure with dignitaries from local, provincial, state, national, and constitutional dimension. Papa was a social crusader, philanthropist, solution provider to problems, a spokesperson, and emancipator of the downtrodden. His social accommodations and human relationships and him over 30 namesakes, Obabu, including Reverend Father P.C. and A.K. Doctors, Lawyers, E.T.C. He belonged to so many associations, organizations, clubs, and cooperatives. He vehemently resisted ideas, suggestions, and revolutions that around counter to social, religious, cultural, political, and traditional principles. Right to human dignity and moral rectitude. He was a legal justice of peace and a Jerusalem pilgrim 2001. Barrister Bo was a two-time Jerusalem 
pilgrim. He was a positive adapt in boxing, triple jump, soccer, and law tennis. He donated corps to our Meiji youth. He encouraged and participated in many cultural dances. He loved entertainment, masquerading, and even had a special omebe. He is the custodian of popular Igbe Amechi. Palaz Abu was amongst the pioneer faithful Christian Catholics in Amechi. He got baptized in 1954, confirmed in 1956, and married in the Catholic Church in 1972. He propagated the faith devotedly till death. He was the chairman Catholic Men of Musician, CMO, St. Peter's Parish each year, sponsored over 20 married couples and supported St. Philomena's Church Building Project, project financially, materially, and spiritually. He provided the mass box for many newly ordained priests in Ohio, who and finally Barrest Abo died in the early morning 12 July 2020. Chief Barrister Abu Laz Abo was married and wedded in the Catholic Church to his heart truck, Chief Lola Luisa Alama Abo. The marriage was blessed with eight children, amongst them a graduate in various disciplines, both in Nigeria and overseas. Chief Barrister Abu was the first university graduate in Amechi Asia, 1976-1979. Built and constructed the popular AK Asia as Zambo Motor Park then. First Amechi son to be enrolled in the National Youth Service Corps program. Second lawyer of Asia and fourth lawyer of the old Ahauku local government area. First to be appointed permanent secretary in Amechi in particular and Eza in general. Palaz Abu was made chief with the title Eze Chinirugo I of Furene and traditional primary minister in Amechi Autonomous Community Cabinet of HRH Eze Elebe Ododo I of Amechi. Though born as a pagan, chief barrister Abu Laz Abu died in the Lord like the biblical Lazarus. Okay, oh boy, ma, oh boy, shiki, oh boy, mu, na ro 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 shiki, oh boy, don't ye danger, oh boy, we robu, in we tibo we, bro, ye we robu, take grab one, and all grab one, go there, now this is a good year, ro ro beke, beke to buy shiki, ro ro ro, ro ro ho na ro, go good year. So where you can do so the chicheka still in the end of mad or like it by chichi. Undo mad with the maca, oh bom with like a hen or lay. He run the hook with the car, the camera, with the large, they tear live a moment by cha. Papa rose from a very, very humble background, like the Biblical Lazarus, and uh, grew up to become a hero, a bridge, a pathfinder, and the hope for the hopeless. The impact he had on us, his children, and uh, relatives, and the community, it's so much that a vacuum has actually been created in this family that um, we hope to continue from where he stopped because he was actually a very, very unreplaceable man by every ramification. The blows with the talent of full of proke chineke. Keblo go ne jeskulo shen mer baptizi. Boye meri oge ho. That is a hele gelo lo lo lo. Ato atashendo mad. La koro hele Jesus. Boye bejo lens. Lo nye ti enye. Bo la rare fondo. Ando me no guru ogudi e zilita nye lo fu. Keba nye fu ba zilita li me chineke. Bo gba koron bo ge ngoke. Nye nye ngoke. Ibo nyo so se fu la ka icho ri me mi be ki e. Eh eh, ma ka le, o po no le chine ki e mi re big man. Bo, ye ga bo, o nyi kpa se ga bo le dra ibi e godo. O za se ke big man. O no ma ha ho le dra, bo no wa dra puta. A nya she papa ha, iye di du kpi ke. A she, te ma ni bo nye ho dra. So, bo on na ambe shi bota ngo ke ke pare ka. Ke ma mi ba ge gude tu nye re. He was a determined person. A very, very disciplined man. He is a disciplinarian. He doesn't just like anybody that is doing what is not the right thing. 
he must discipline you to the core. And because of this, down there in the community, so many people that had their erring children used to bring them to him for corrections and the proper orientation. He also inculcated that virtue in us, his children, that you hardly see any of us misbehaving. We dare not. He was a very humble person, and everyone could attest to that. He was very humble. He, he never discriminated. I can't remember seeing that. He never discriminated. My dad whined and died with both the rich and the poor. That's how selfless he was. He was that simple and selfless. And again, my dad was a very peaceful person. He was a peace lover, a peacekeeper. Anywhere there's disputes, anywhere there's problem, he always lent his voice. He always, you know, put out his efforts to make sure there's peace. That's that's one good thing about him as well. So my he was my he was uh, my dad and he was equally my namesake Obumu Bob. My father was such an open man. He was so welcoming and uh, you know everyone that came around him he absorbed everyone yeah, he took everyone as a friend and uh, he took everyone as a family. Uh, I think uh, his primary objective when he was alive was to ensure peace and uh, tranquility. He was actually um, a simple man, humble and um, down to earth. Okay. So that I think I'll just summarize it in these three words. Played a very nice role in my life, like as a friend, as a dad, as a mentor, role model. Oh, he was just oh and he have been he have been very very good to me like from the day i was born mm. he have always been there he doesn't allow me lack anything like anything i ask for he always gives me so with this i i grew up knowing my dad as a hero and uh, a lovely dad who cares for his children and helps and also helps the people around him. So I think my dad is actually the best dad in the world. Early morning on Sunday, 12th July 2020, fully prepared and fulfilled, Chief Barrister Abu Lazarus Abu quietly and willingly opened and closed his eyes in death, thereby answered the inevitable core meant for all mortals. It is finished. John 19 verse 30. In all, Chief Barrister Abu lived and performed credibly well on the stage of life, though his exit left a vacuum and lacuna. He did bequeath legacies to uphold. He promised to uphold and even perfect the struggles and achievements where he stopped. Go well, sleep well, as you go down in style to your creator amidst the embraces of angelic host. Our prayers are with you. Adieu, Ezechiel Ogo, one of Amechi, Papa Doctor, Papa Lawyer, Papa Engineer. Adieu, Obo Father. Adieu, Mweduhu, Atuku Oteme. Apituzu Mini, Agbakwe Afro, Mwagbongu Moke, Echarangye Enya Tata, Lend Council, JP, Mwadi Fe, till we meet to remain forever. Dr. Kinsley, Obina, Agbo, Mwata Leje, Ozalada, with extracts from Chief Agumadanel Agbo, is in the key.